What's up guys, Thaddeus here. In today's video, we are actually gonna be talking about a very new feature that Instagram actually just announced. Uh, I don't know if they announced it on every account, but it looked like they, it, they, they only told accounts with big followings or big reaches. Um, but I wanna make this weird to you because it's going to affect the dropshipping space, the influencer space, the Instagram space, Everything. big time. <laughs> And I brought my boy Matthew here, who is literally the Instagram pimp guy. So he literally got started on Twitter, growing pages, building on there. And now he's a fat audience on Instagram. So again, I'm, I'm gonna have the screen recording play on the video in front of you guys as well, so just so you guys can see. But basically, guys, what they're saying is that they're about to roll out a feature where anyone that can reach a lot of accounts. So I have like 30,000 followers or something. So they gave me this notification, but. Basically, they're being super transparent. So they're making it very transparent for anyone to go on anybody's page that has a lot of followers and see when the account was made, okay? Any changes their Instagram account has had, like name changes, guys. So if they change their name, um, you'll know when they changed it and uh, what they changed it from, okay? Um, you'll see uh, the date joined, okay? The country that they're from. And then, yeah, old usernames and the accounts you share other followers with, guys. So there's a few key changes in there, guys. And at first you might be like, okay, cool. They're trying to be more transparent. But it's actually really, really good for us dropshippers or for anyone who really uses Instagram to, you know, use influencers, <coughs> use influencer shout outs and buy money from influencers. It's going to save especially a lot of beginners going into this space a lot of money and I think this is actually where influencers sort of make the comeback because I know you know when I first started dropshipping in 2016 I always preached influencers and then it became easier and easier for people to buy fake followers fake like fake engagement all that kind of stuff and there's like a backlash that built up from influencers more people are like oh no start with Facebook ads or something like that but then I think with this guys it's literally I, I think I think a comeback a really big comeback is gonna be you know happening for the influencer space or if not then it's just gonna be extremely lucrative for us people to actually start using influencers more while everyone else kind of like doesn't <laughs> but yeah what do you think dude the light looks so dope on like your arm look at that oh, Isn't that lighting so dope? guys <laughs> content. content let's go so anyways obviously thaddeus brought me along because they call me the king of instagram pimp of instagram whatever you know who cares <laughs> point is is this is actually like super great like when he told me about this i didn't even know about this until he showed me like i was just sitting there i just had a notification pop up my yeah. phone i was like i'm screen recording this this is good information yeah and i was like sitting there working on our print on demand store which we talked about print on demand Check and the last video yeah, the last video on this channel um and then on the my channel as well we have a video on that anyway he showed me that and I was like, dude, this is literally insane for Instagram. He said that he wanted to make a video talking about it. I said, let me be in that video because I want to go in depth on why that's actually so insane. So you've so, been in the Instagram industry for how many years? Uh, so, okay, so no, Instagram, I've been doing for four years now. Okay, so a little over four years, years now. Okay. Yeah, so I've been doing social media marketing like of all kinds for a little over five years and then I got into Instagram about a year after I started on Twitter. So for the past for better half of four years, uh, I've been working on Instagram, theme pages, marketing, I've worked with dropshipping stores, brands, anything, literally anything you can market on Instagram, I've either had of my own and marketed or I've worked with other people, clients, and done their marketing, so I've done it all. And I can say that this is probably going to be the greatest update for theme page marketing ever. This is probably going to make theme page marketing better than it has been in the entire four and a half ish years that I've been on Instagram. And that's with me having been on Instagram even back when we had chronological feed. So I know a lot of people, I don't even think you were, you weren't around. I, I, was, I was around. Oh, you were? Yeah, I was around. Okay, so yeah, so very few days. people like actually remember uh, the days of marketing with the chronological the feed. The good, the times. good <laughs> times, yeah. Because back then, like if you were a theme page, obviously you had a ton of followers, you still do today. But back then, they didn't place. Uh, personals and like your actual friends over the theme pages you follow. So back it wasn't then, like Facebook's algorithm today where they like predict what you want to see. It was literally like if someone followed your theme page, they would see it as long as like it, like as long as they were awake on Instagram. Exactly. So obviously back then it was like super important about what time you post, and then when you post, you're just activity off the charts. I mean, there were so many different ways to make money back then that you didn't even have to do drop shipping because it was 
literally too easy to make more money other ways to the point to where I mean you would buy an Instagram account for $500 and you would probably make that money back within the first two days of owning that account Guys, so, just so you yeah. know like he's bought a house and a very very fast car from Instagram <laughs> okay? I'm yeah. just saying just saying like he knows what he's talking about yeah no, I mean you know not to uh <laughs> But I did that in high school, so <laughs> so this was obviously back when like things were really great. And now I can say that obviously things have changed a lot over time. You know, they took away the chron chronological feed. They have like this whatever algorithm based feed now where they slowly made it a little bit. At first it was terrible. They slowly made it a little bit better and better by ranking the most recent posts a little bit higher than they were before. But now the game is like changed forever. So with the whole update and with um, all of the new features, I would say that probably the one that's gonna change everything the most is the fact that now you can see people's ads over time. Now, do you know if, it, if it's gonna be like where you can see when the app was last changed? Um, we can actually look right now. Um, I don't remember if that, that was a part so of I know it. I clicked mine to go see if it yeah. would do that. Um, wait, he's on this one, one second. I opened it up for like two seconds, fuck. Wait. Yeah, so it'll say the date too. It literally does not get better than that. So obviously this is going to maybe very slightly negatively impact some influencers. It's going to impact- Basically like the influencers that were trying to fake it, I guess. Are, are exactly, that's where I was gonna go with that. <laughs> no, no. Trying to say it nice No, yeah. Like, <laughs> Basically, the, it's gonna take out the snakes more than anything. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's like, that's great for drop shippers because before like, I know pages that I've been working with for years now that have changed their theme. I literally can't even count how many times. So now that you can actually see when someone changed their name each time, you can literally see like a lot of the times name changes are uh, a big page gets really big and they make a bunch of money off their page so then they go buy like a better app or something. But uh, obviously the more common thing that happens and the thing that you see today and the thing that kind of uh, I wouldn't say ruined dropshipping on Instagram, but made it a lot more difficult, is the fact that people could fake stuff so easily. Again, it changes the whole game. I've seen accounts that will be at two or three million followers, and they'll go from being a relationship page to a meme page to uh, a fights page or like, like they change their niche so many times and I literally watch it happen, but these people who don't have the same connections I do and the people who don't have an agency like I do don't know these things and there's no way that you would have known these things without this update. So with this update now, you can see, okay, is this page actually gonna work for my dropshipping store or is it just the fact that they have this at and this theme right now but before they were like something completely different that I would have never in a million years imagined actually using for my store. The thing is, is a lot of the pages are like that and you don't even realize it. So you're overpaying for shout outs on pages that 90% of their audience is from their old niche and that doesn't even apply but they still might get some activity just because the people are seeing the stuff and people just double tap so fast but if it doesn't apply then you're not gonna make money with those pages so uh, I would say that's probably the greatest the piece of all, all of this but all of the updates honestly are gonna end up being super great yeah I mean even uh, going down to like down to the I guess the core of it of why people were hesitant to go like influencers versus you know paid advertising on Facebook or wherever, wherever they decided to go right was like they didn't want to waste their money they didn't want to waste their money paying you know three hundred dollars two hundred dollars for a shout out and having it like go to an audience that didn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, yo, if you're selling a fashion product, or you're selling like, say, say you're selling like women's accessories or something, right, in the fashion industry, and you find a potential page, you're like, oh, this could be really good. It looks like their content's kind of like on point. Um, it looks like the audience might be like good, like receptive to my, my advertisement. But then you go on there, you see the recent name changes, and they were like a car page or like, you know, like something like a motivation. <laughs> it you know? happens more than people think. That's the funniest part. Yeah. So like now, though, I feel like <laughs> that's really gonna put a lot of trust back into people selling things on Instagram shops, like especially as drop shippers or anyone owning a brand, right? You're gonna be able to see, like, okay, like this guy switched up a lot. This is probably not where I want to go. I'd rather go to a more like OG page, someone who actually was staying legit to their to their brand, to to like to what they owned on Instagram, right? Which makes your money a lot worth it. And I think another thing that we didn't really talk about yet was the fact that we can see when their account was made. 
Too. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's super important too. Now, I mean, obviously something to keep in mind is people who own like a lot of big pages will sometimes just create a new page whenever they can think of a new good theme or maybe they just see something trending and then they just blow it up really quick and it gets super huge. So obviously in that case, I would say there's an equal amount of that as there is people who just create a page and just boost buy, it, like fake it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like uh, sometimes they might just buy a bunch of fakes to start and then do a bunch of engagement stuff with other pages like off of that to make their activity look more real but really it's still just as illegit and you're gonna do just as terrible with a shout out. It's like a way to fix that, right? So if, for example, if someone is like seeing an influencer and they're like, oh, this could be something that, you know, Matthew talked about in this video, um, would you say a way to like kind of comment that is to actually reach out to the influencer and say like, hey, do you own any other pages or like, do you own other pages that I can also run advertisements on? Um, and kind of be like, because it's like if they own a bunch of pages, they could kind of blow, or like refer them. Yeah, to they own. it's it's really tough to say because sometimes I mean there are it's super super uncommon now, but there are still people who will get into the Instagram game and just have like a really good theme idea and just like off of engagement groups mm -hmm. be able to build up really fast like zero to like sixty k. Yeah, in a yeah month. we don't want you guys thinking that any new page is yeah. all fake. Yeah, yeah, that's that's, that's my biggest piece here is I don't want people to think that's why I didn't really go too in depth on the whole. Uh, account creation date too much because you have to I would just say you have to have an eye for it more than anything which takes time takes on time Instagram in yeah it takes getting that experience and learning getting a feel out for Instagram getting a feel for what pages are legit what aren't legit and then as you kind of build that sixth sense as I like to call it for Instagram shout outs then at some point you'll be able to use that date information to better you but I don't want that to uh, stop you guys from buying shout outs off or of be like the sole reason you decide not to exactly Yeah, because they're they're they very well could be just as legit So maybe just kind of take that with a little bit more of a grain of salt as they say uh, Don't go like, you know, don't go crazy <laughs> over the the date of creation but Awesome. Yeah. I think that we basically covered it I mean, it's just basically just this new update that's gonna hit that I think is really gonna change the game and put again a lot more trust back into the people selling stuff selling, you know using influencers uh, theming pages, etc., for their shoutouts. But guys, that that's really the video. We just wanted to bring that to you guys and kind of give our thoughts. And I wanted to have Matthew give his experience and his thoughts because he's been in the game for a while to kind of help you guys out. But again, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to check out Matthew's channel as well. I've been in a lot of videos with him. Um, his channel will be down in the description below as well as everything else important. Do you have anything else? Oh yeah, gonna plug myself mouth one more time here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> So I'm actually gonna be talking about the same topic pretty much on my channel. I didn't wanna just like jack Thaddy's idea and run with it. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna be talking about this too. Uh, obviously it's like super important for my channel and what my personal brand is and I wanna go really in depth on how this is gonna change not only drop shipping but literally everything like I will, I'll go. Like I'll anyone go, yeah. selling stuff on yeah. Instagram, not and, even drop shipping. And and not just, like it's like, it runs so deep and it goes so many different ways like it's beyond just e-commerce and I will talk about all that on my channel and the video on my channel about this so you guys will see that there when you do go check me out because you're gonna check me out uh, yeah. uh, and awesome but yeah guys that's the video check out his channel link will be down below as well as everything else the Facebook groups all that kind of stuff the course too always gotta plug that make sure to leave a like guys make sure to drop a comment respond to everyone's comments and don't forget to subscribe I will see you guys in the next video and take care you yeah.